Hello my soccer gamers to the third and last part of my Euro 2024 jersey review. This time we'll be looking at the groups E and F, potentially the most unfancied ones. However, there are some quite interesting jerseys in there as well, like this one that was already released for Euro 2024. And I also want to point out that this Georgia jersey up there might also be worn. So those are the two jerseys of this current German that I have at the beginning of the tournament. I'm not sure if I will add any, but that remains to be seen. If you want to catch up with the previous parts, we have uh, part one is up here, groups A and group B, where we have the worst and the best jersey of the entire tournament. And then if you want to see some really good work by Nike, you can also watch the second part up there as well. In this video, we see actually quite some nice jerseys. It's quite eclectic. It's not that one brand is sticking out so much. We actually have two Homa teams in there as well, which coincidentally are all in the same group. And they also have the same main primary color, which I think is one of the weird things of the draw. While then the other group is all majority red and white. All jerseys in here are ranked from a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best, although we won't run the full scale in this video. I also give you a little number on the bottom of every jersey, which is where I place the jersey in the overall countdown, if you like, of all 52 jerseys, kind of give you an extra gauge. All the pictures are taken from mostly Football Kit Archive. If you don't know Football Kit Archive, please do yourself a favor and check it out, especially if you're a kid nerd like me. And then also within each group, we're going to go alphabetically according to the English name of every country. So that one is figured out as well. Which means we're going to start this review in Belgium with the Belgium home jersey. Belgium went for a different main color. And I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> and this is, you know, Adidas template. And yes, I have to say, first things first, I didn't mention it uh, previously. I think that the Adidas jerseys as a kid usually look a whole lot better than just the jerseys by itself because you have the continuation onto the pants in a way, which makes them look very nice overall. However, this Belgium jersey makes the cardinal sin of, again, coloring every patch. We don't need the black patches up there. The gold one on the bottom, I guess I'm kind of all right. I'm also not so sold on this wine red for Belgium. I mean, I think it's appealing as a color combination, but it's not exactly what I imagine for Belgium per se. And then you have this overly complicated pattern on there, which is kind of this diamond -y pattern. It looks like 3D cubes where there's a whole lot of crowns and foundation years on there. Yeah, I think it's the outstanding feature of the jersey. I also don't like the, the collar, but this is all Adidas collar. It doesn't really wrap around, so it kind of takes it a little bit down overall. This is not a jersey that I'm really high on. It's only 41 on the countdown, as you've seen, and I'm giving it only four stars. However, that all changes for the away jersey, which sadly will most likely not be worn during the entire tournament which is, of course, based on Tintin, which personally I don't really know too much about. However, the jersey itself looks really, really good, given that we have already a dark red home jersey, a light blue away jersey makes sense. It goes, of course, with brown pants and white socks to com complete the Tintin look. And even the warm-up jackets represent the coat, which I think is a cool feature overall. So yeah, I like the color, although I think the light blue is more for me, Belgium in a goalkeeping jersey, but we had kind of bluish kits in 2016. Now we have again, I love the full on color on this. This is one that I think even the pattern looks quite nice. And then you have the golden accents. You have the Adidas logo in gold and this is really a big Adidas logo as well as the Federation Crest also in golden which really adds to the entire feel of the jersey and then yes the white uh, things on the bottom don't bother me as much. This is one of the best jerseys released for the entire Euros. As I said, most likely will not be worn. I have it as the fourth best one. It's also the best one that we'll see in this video. That's why I went for it when I saw it for a real steal. I give this one an eight star rating. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Romania decided to use the same kits I used in qualifying. And I think all these kits work quite well. I mean, you have on the side, the pad and the print is basically the symbols that we also see in the Romania crest, which is kind of representative of the five regions of Romania on there. Still have to get used to this new crest, although I think it does some really nice features. It's probably maybe too modernistic. The overall styling is relatively simple with this crew neck that has done a cut V in there. But I love the sleeve 
wave curves it is simple effective <laughs> at number 11 this one the right actually quite high but you know national team jerseys shouldn't be overly fancy as well in my opinion so i'm gonna give this seven stars and you'll see there's a theme there the red one is maybe the one that i, I don't know it doesn't quite connect with me color wise as much i know it's one of the national colors the flag curves stand out a little bit more but otherwise it's the same shirt so also seven seven stars i just rank it at 16. i really like the blue one i think this one is quite nice although the sleeve curves you know the blue touches the blue maybe you could have reversed it there all seven star jerseys i think they as a set they look really really nice it's very consistent and this is what i actually do like about these romania kits then we go to Slovakia. I said already for Slovenia and they were disappointing. Slovakia, similarly this disappointing. It's not down to the names. This is just Slovakia saying, okay, Nike doesn't want to do special jerseys for us anymore. Not like the one that I have back there. We're gonna go to 11 Team Sports who give us a template and that's it and let's color all the patches in red so that we have some interest. It just makes the jerseys look so 2022 first and second it looks makes them look ugly and boring and completely disappointing this one is number 50 really 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 low i just don't cannot get behind yes the color is okay but everything else is kind of blah really bland jersey two star the away jersey at least is unicolored <laughs> that was lifted a little little bit up still 4 for 46 i'm still very disappointed in that one i give this a three star i would have expected a teeny bit more at least take the shoulders in a different color you know don't color the patches color the panels like if you have all uh, uh, shoulders that are in contrast that might actually work but slovakia not doing it for me and ukraine is another kind of disappointment but you will understand if you hear that ukraine is gonna take over by adidas they're using the same jersey they used already for the last euros and given the war and all the tragedy that's happening there having a ukraine map on the jersey makes probably sense the jerseys though i have to say the previous homo efforts i liked a whole lot better that this is not the one that sticks it's a little bit of a shame, at least for me. I know this probably has high value to the Ukrainian population. All the kits are kind of the same. We have at number 18, this home jersey with six star. We have the blue one, which adds also a dot pattern, which kind of takes a little bit down, although I usually like the blue Ukraine jerseys. I have it just one spot behind, also with six stars. And then there's also a third jersey in white and gold, which is okay, but I don't feel it for Ukraine let's put it that way that's why also six stars means nothing different from there but i have it at number 25. over to group f our last puma jersey and i have to say the czech home jersey to me is the highlight of puma it is simple it's all what you want you have a red jersey with blue cuffs and a blue collar which should wrap around and not just on the, on the bottom but that's puma for you however what makes this a little bit more outstanding is this overall print that takes the lion crest and kind of tilts it 45 30 and it goes all over like, like it's stamped on which to me is a nice detail when you see it on a close-up but in from a distance it will look still very distinctly check again nothing outstanding but i think among the puma shirts this is my personal favorite i have it sitting at number 22 it's a six star tells you all how puma is doing this time around the away jersey doll yeah bleh. <laughs> it's a five star it does what it does but there's nothing special about it czech republic yeah rather bland overall georgia first time at the euros second team by macron and they have really interesting jerseys although they might not be to everyone's liking i actually think that a home jersey while it makes sense might be the worst of them if you look at it we have this red center strap that's broken up to host a number which to me is already the first kind of no no and was one reason why i didn't really go for this one but you also have the red shoulder striping which is kind of a little bit puma which kind of should represent the saint george's cross i would think of course the stripe does not continue very much on the back either then you have a subtle pattern that is made up all of crosses uh here the way it looks is just all the same i will say a little bit more on the third jersey because there you will see it a little bit better i do like however the saint george killing the dragon as the crest i think that is quite nice and quite a unique crest 
Overall, I'm so and so about this one. I don't think it's a bad jersey. It sits at number 26. It has a little bit of creativity in there, but it's not more than a six star jersey either. The away jersey in black does the same thing, but it just uses black and then a little bit of a gray to repeat the pattern. I like the St. George now in red. That's cool, but why is the Macron logo in white? That should also be in red to really add to, to the look. This was actually the one that I've been eyeing initially. One thing that drew me off is a little bit again this gap that we have in there, which you know, if you don't have the option for customization, does look a little bit weird. 17, it's still a six star jersey. And so maybe the most obvious one, the red one, is also the simplest one, but makes kind of the most sense and is the best one. It's also the one that's made history because they qualified with this one for these euros. And that's the one that I ended up choosing. That's in on the back there. Again, you see the cross pattern there, but here the crosses are kind of fading in and out. And it is really hard to see and you have to basically have the jersey in front of you. And maybe I should make a video on this, this jersey. It mimics the Georgia flag. The thick crosses that go down the center and then also a little bit around the belly make up the main cross. Then there are in each corner a little bit more thicker crosses make up the little crosses from the Georgia flag. And then the smaller crosses fill in the white bits. Which I think is a really nice touch. Makes this jersey actually quite nice to look at. Yes, I think the shield outlined worked better on the previous version. It's a very understated shirt, but it's not a bad shirt. Very black pants and I think you have an overall really good look as well. I ranked this the highest. It's at number 15. It's 7 and yes, maybe the sentimental reason as well. And because getting a Georgia jersey was always something that I thought this will be hard. So I'm really pleased that I have one that might have raised the grade a teeny bit. But I like this detail with the crosses in there. It's quite nice overall. Portugal. Last jersey is by Nike for Portugal. And yes, asymmetric collar is the one thing that takes this down a little bit. Other than that, it's Portugal. It's what you would expect from a Portugal jersey, except why do we have black? Yes, there's a little bit black in the crest, but if it was green trimmed in black, I think I would like this one better. And yes, the asymmetric collar can look past that. It's worn with green shorts. That's for me the most important one. It's a six star jersey sitting at number 24, kind of in the middle. The away jersey though is another favorite favorite of mine takes this famous tile pattern in blue that you see uh, potentially all over Portugal. Of course, haven't, haven't been, but when you see, see pictures, it is really obvious that this is a very Portuguese thing. And it makes this tile pattern print all over, which gives the jersey a nice texture. The one thing that could make it better is if the tiles were a little bit more pronounced. It's just they're kind of washed out. A bit. This is maybe the one thing that I don't like, but other than that, it's a really nice shirt. And I always love when Portugal takes the white and blue route for the away jersey because those are the royal colors of Portugal and I think it makes always for a good one. This one here, I really gotta say it grabs me. I love it and again another good Nike effort number seven and I gave it eight stars. Which leaves us now with Turkey. Turkey, home jersey, does everything what I want from a Turkey jersey. I love the classic look with the chest band that houses the crescent moon and the star. And then, yeah, we have the swoosh below, which I again wonder about the number placement. I still like the one that I have up there a teeny bit better, although the uh, moon is not centered. There's also an interesting pattern in that it doesn't make this jersey completely boring. Also note that the color is the same that the England jersey has, which is kind of a little bit weird. But it's a really nice jersey. I give it seven stars. I always like that look for Turkey. The away jersey in plain red. I mean, it does what it should do. And you know, it is simple. It is more or less the Turkish flag. It also has a pattern in that that saves it from being a completely boring jersey. But I don't dislike it. I think a red Turkey jersey, this is what, what we should do. Could it have maybe a white collar or a white sleeve? Because potentially it has some white patches below. So one could have added a little bit more white, but you know, let it be all red. Give this six stars and it sits at number 30 in the overall countdown. And there you have it. All of the national team jerseys at Euro 2024, not only rated, but also ranked. Let me know which jerseys in here you liked which ones you disliked and also where you agree and disagree with me because you know we all have our own opinions. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and more on Euro 2024 in all other different perspectives. I might do some videos on kit matchups, although I don't know how time will allow for that. I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe.
Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.